All right, so welcome back to um, integrating timber in an existing blog. So what we did last time was made this welcome message, which right now is just being populated by a PHP string, which um, I guess is okay, but obviously this is WordPress, so we probably should actually hook this up to WordPress. Um, so I'm going to go over to my WordPress admin page here, and I'm gonna create a new page that's gonna populate the content of that welcome message. So let's call this um, um, to my blog. All right, so I've published that, and if I go back and refresh, obviously nothing's changed. I still need to connect the content here to the page. So to do that, um, let's go ahead and in my PHP file, I'm going to delete that line where before we were sending the made up string, go back to my context object and add a new parameter or property here for welcome. I'm going to set that equal to this page I just made. So to do that, I'm going to use timber get post. So in order to retrieve the post I want, and in this case, um, pages ultimately in the WordPress database are stored as posts. It's just page is a content type, so that's why we're using get post. So get post is universal no matter what the content type is. A um, bunch of different ways that I can retrieve this specific one. The easiest is just to use the ID up here. So if I use ID 56 and hit save, nothing's going to happen yet, but you can see actually we lost the headline because now we have a welcome object, but we have no headline. So to connect those, what I'm going to show you is that our welcome object now comes across from the PHP file to the twig file. And if I do a welcome print R, I can actually see the content of what is inside that post. So I do that, I come back to my home page, and I refresh, and here we go. Here's everything that's coming across right now. If I do a view source, this might be easier to see. So you can see we have things like post date, post content, post title. So these look like the things we need to access it. So all of these are the properties that we can ex that we can access on that welcome object. So if I go back to Mark's blog and instead of headline, we do welcome.post underscore title. Let's get rid of our print R here. There we go, welcome to my nice blog. So that was the headline I used inside of pages. Um, same thing for this message. So if I do welcome dot post underscore content, which I'm pretty sure has the stuff I'm looking for. We should get our full message. There we go. So once it's saved, we get that. So there's one thing you might know, notice that's not quite right, and that is Inside of the pages interface, I put a line break in between every day and please check back often. So inside of the blog, we should actually see that line break as well. But if I do a inspect element, all of that is stored in just one paragraph tag. Even though there's a line break, there's nothing that tells HTML to actually make that two lines. Um, so normally WordPress is doing this when you call a function like the content. It takes whatever you have stored in your post content field um, and adds the line breaks. It runs the text through any filters that plugins might be using, uh, short code, stuff like that. So because we're not working in PHP, we're working in Twig, we can do a very similar thing. And that is instead of post underscore content, if I use get underscore content, that's going to take the post content and run through those exact same filters, the same auto paragraph tag or auto paragraph functions to make this work. So there we go, now we have the line break. So one more thing I wanna do, and that is add a custom field. So let's say that Mark wants to announce, he wants to announce people to follow him on Twitter. So to do that, we're going to need and then here is his Twitter page. Now, 
this will work. Um, if I refresh, I get that, and if I hover over, you can see links to Mark Watabi. But the problem is, um, I want the client to be able to control this themselves through a custom post or a custom field. So back here in WordPress, I'm going to use custom fields, and this is based on the plugin uh, Advanced Custom Fields, which is by far the best way I've found to add custom fields to sites. So if I go to custom fields and add a new group for welcome message group, add a field for Twitter handle, it's going to be a text field, and I want this to show down here if the page is equal to welcome to my nice blog. If I publish and now go back to pages and edit this guy, here it is, and down here we have a space for a Twitter handle. So um, just for the sake of testing, I'm actually going to use my Twitter handle, Jared Nova. Update. And if I go back here to my twig file, um, you know, normally, I'm going to show the PHP method. Um, you know, you would do something in WordPress. I think it's get post custom, and you send, I'm pretty sure it's the ID and the field you want. Um, rather than doing that, because again, we're working in Twig, we can instead take here where it says Mark Watabi, add our double braces, and welcome, because we're still working with the um, welcome page that we created, and then the custom field name, which was Twitter underscore handle. So if I save, refresh, everything looks the same, but now when I click on follow me on Twitter, boom, it loads my Twitter profile. Of course, since this is Mark's blog, let's change this back to Mark Watabi. Update and refresh. And now it opens Mark's page. So super, super simple to integrate your custom fields with Timber.